well, after listening to all you guys, everybody else speak, I'm like, gosh, they don't even look nervous. And I'm still over here like shaking. And so here we go. I'm more of a reader than a speaker. So anyway, um, thank you. Thank you all for being here tonight to celebrate such a special occasion. I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I am the way I am. First and foremost, I am who I am because of God. I wouldn't be standing here today without him. He has blessed me with so many amazing things in my life that have made me who I am. And I'm so thankful for all of his works, including my love for the game of basketball. I am who I am because of my parents, Tom and Linda. I have been blessed to call them mine. My parents from the beginning showed me what hard work was and still is to this day. Not by stressing it with words, but by living it every day of their life to give me, my brother and sister, the life that we were given. They have always supported all of us in many of life's decisions and have been our biggest fans. I remember playing many basketball games with my dad out by the silo and going to open gyms at the town hall. Thank you both for your unconditional love and for guiding me in so many ways. <clears throat> I am who I am because of my siblings. My sister Amy, though nine years older, is one of my dearest friends. She has always been there to support me, even when I, when I was a water girl for her varsity basketball team. She attended many of my MSU games with her own family, which included two of my biggest, littlest fans at the time. My big bro, TJ, two years older, has always been one that I looked up to. We played many games of horse and around the world against each other, and as we grew up, we supported each other in many facets of our lives. He surprised me on several occasions coming all the way from California just to watch several of my basketball games, and I still remember the feeling when he surprised me by jumping out of the hotel closet. <laughs> Thank you both for your love and support in all of my dreams. I am who I am because of my hometown. Not everyone can say they grew up in one of the most beautiful places in the world, but that's my hometown. The community support was endless as I embarked on the journey of being a Division I collegiate athlete at Michigan State. I didn't realize how many supporters and lives I had impacted until my basketball career was over and I moved back home. If I had known then what I know now, I wish I would have invested more time in acknowledging those who went out of their way with a word of encouragement or praise. My hometown also consists of many more family and friends who also have given endless support and encouragement through the years, and I hope they know how much they're all appreciated. I am who I am because of my teammates. Now, this one I could talk on for days. All the way from middle school years to my MSU team and even in the pros, I was surrounded by remarkable athletes who were amazing people who influenced me and helped me to become the player that I was. My best teammates by far were those I had in my four years at Michigan State, all of my Spartan sisters. Embarking on a collegiate career, I didn't know what to expect. All that I knew was what had got me there. I was scared of failure and wanted to make an impact on a program. Some of my teammates would say I was a goody two-shoot player. I was an overachiever. I was a coach's favorite. But it wasn't me trying to be. It was just me being who I am. A large part of our success at MSU obviously wasn't just me. It, after all, does take a team, and we were one of the best to ever, ever come through. Through my four years spent at MSU, there was one person who I went through it all with. She was my AAU teammate, my roommate, my best friend in college, Lindsay Bowen. She was always there supporting me, encouraging me, patting my back when things got tough, working hard and doing it together every step of the way. I would not be standing here today if it weren't for her. We went through a lot together, on and off the court, made many memories from dreading the mile and a half preseason test. Thank you, Coach P. Um, the killer Taekwondo workouts with Master Chung. The weight room, the late night talks about what went wrong during a game, celebrating when things went right. Thank you, Lindsay, for being a great teammate and an even better friend. And although I will fail to mention many other teammates at MSU who had a large impact on me, there are two I felt were monumental leaders for our team when we made it to the 2005 Final Four. Kristen Haney and Kelly Rorig are a huge reason we came back and beat Tennessee in the semifinals. That halftime speech was epic. Maybe not as intense as that one night in Wonders where we got the bejeebers scared out of us. Do you remember that, Crit? Julie, I think you were there too. Um, anyway, talk about a couple great leaders in this program who weren't afraid to speak up in the face of adversity. And I hope you too know how much of an impact you had on me with our time at MSU together. To all my other teammates I didn't mention, thank you for always having my back and being there for each other. I am who I am because of my coaches and trainers. I have been blessed by some phenomenal individuals who I have learned a lot from. Coach P and her coaching staff were the best. They are what sold me on coming to MSU. Coach P, Coach Abe, Coach Jack, and Coach Grimm. 
They made MSU feel like my home away from home, and for those who really know me, home is everything. It's where I thrive. Although during my four years, the coaching staff was constantly changing, I learned something from each and every one of them that I had the honor to play for. Coach P knew what I needed to be the best I could be. She knew what buttons to push and how to get the most out of me. She also didn't just care about my success on the court. She wanted all of her players to be successful people in life. Thank you, Coach P, for pushing me beyond my limits and helping me reach my potential. You are an amazing mentor in my life and are a monumental reason I am standing here today. To Coach Grimm, thanks for always reminding me of where I came from and bringing perspective to a lot of situations. Coach Brown, I learned so much from that man. He's an amazing coach and challenged me in more ways I ever thought possible. To Vork, my strength coach, thanks for all those sore muscles and killer workouts. Um, and to Luann, thanks for always keeping my joints in place and being there with any sign of ache and pain to help us through. Melinda, your understanding for when we needed another new pair of shoes or any other attire needs were much appreciated. And to all those behind the scenes who I have failed to mention, I appreciate all of you and your impact you have had, not only on me as a student athlete, but on all the student athletes who have had the privilege to come through such an outstanding university. I am who I am because of my husband, Luke, also known as the biggest rock in my life. You talk about a person that God put in my life for so many reasons. He challenged me from the beginning to be a better person. This is where I get a little emotional, sorry. <laughs> to stretch my comfort level and to see the bigger picture. To truly live this life to the fullest we can possibly live. You bring so much joy and strength to my life, and I hope you know how much I cherish having you to grow in this life together. I thank MSU for offering that class, IH241D, otherwise our paths probably never would have crossed. I am who I am because of my children. I want to talk about big love. You can talk about the four little humans we brought with us today. Lambden, Fletcher, Caden, Oakland. This may be hard to imagine, but despite being my biggest challenge at times, they are by far the thing in my life that I am most proud of. I am proud to be their mother. I am proud of them in all of their own way. And I hope that I can have the impact on their life that my parents had on mine, and that they experience a life full of so many amazing people to help shape theirs. I am who I am because of Michigan State University. Ultimately, I'm standing here today because of MSU. Michigan State gave me the opportunity of a lifetime to be a Division I collegiate athlete while getting a top-notch education, something, my, something that many never get to experience in their life. Now put the icing on the cake and put yourself playing for a national championship. Talk about one heck of a ride. From all the experiences I had on and off the court at MSU and the people that came into my life, I wouldn't go back and change anything. I'm so thankful that for all that Michigan State has given me, and there are no words to describe the feeling I have when I look at my name in the Hall of Fame. Thank you, Michigan State, for allowing me to be, be a part of something so much bigger than just myself. So now that I have told you the reasons of my life that have made me who I am, I hope that you can see how I am completely speechless when one may ask, what does it mean to be in the Michigan State Hall of Fame? I have so many reasons going through my head for the feelings that I want to convey, but where does one start when there are so many people who have made me who I am and so many experiences that I've gone through with those people to shape me and ultimately help me be, be the person standing here today in front of you? I am beyond grateful for all that I have been awarded and recognized for, but for me, I didn't go out with the ultimate goal of getting all this recognition. It's just me being me. It's who I am, and I have so many people in my life that have allowed me this opportunity to be here. So thank you for all those behind the scenes and at the forefront of this event and all the other hard work and effort to put on such a memorable occasion. Congratulations to all the other inductees. It is quite the honor to be standing next to all of you. Um, this is definitely another experience to put in the memory bank and another thing that ultimately makes me who I am. So thank you, enjoy the rest of the evening, and go green. <laughs>